Okay, so if you've been in the Dragon Ball community for a while, you're probably familiar with the concept of fission, right? The actual definition of fission means the action of dividing or splitting of something into two or more parts. Now, typically this is in regards to people splitting, like Majin Buu splitting himself into both Evil Buu and Good Buu, or when the Namekians split themselves into multiple beings such as King Piccolo and Kami. But there is another concept that's kind of similar to this idea that was made evident in Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 61, which is called Forced Spirit Fission, right? Now, today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video as there, there isn't really a whole lot that we've seen of this ability, but it is important enough to warrant its own video and explanation. Um, for those still left curious after the reveal, but before that, definitely don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as we're very close to 15k. Now, unlike Goku, who learned just the basics of the techniques provided by the Yard Rats, Vegeta managed to get acquainted and learn more powerful and useful techniques in Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 55 for his key control. One of the crucial abilities that he learned for his upcoming fights with Moro was called Force Spirit Fission. Now, essentially, this ability is the inverse of Moro's ability, which is very similar to the Spirit Bomb, where it absorbs the Genki or Spirit Energy of those willing to participate. But in this case, he takes it excess. He takes an excessive amount forcefully to strengthen and rejuvenate himself. Now, Vegeta's ability allows him to um, take that energy that Moro or someone else took forcefully, regather it outside of Moro's body, and redistribute it to where it originally came from. Now this enables Vegeta to gradually weaken Moro, although the strength of his attacks were not necessarily that effective in it of themselves, it still was very effective in the sense that they were weakening him with every blow, right? Uh, I'm sure you're very familiar with uh, Baryon Mode from the Naruto franchise, and this ability works kind of similar to that one. Um, it isn't a beacon that can be dodged very easily. Um, as they kind of encoach the user in an aura, so as the user continues to hit the opponent, they gradually weaken, much like how, much like Baryon mode. The main difference here is that it doesn't necessarily drain the user's lifespan, it only works presuming that the person this ability is being performed on has stolen energy from elsewhere. The energy is even still distributed if the person was killed through the loss of energy, as many Namekians were brought back to life as uh, mentioned by Dende. Now, the massive drain proves to be so drastic that Moro was not able to rely on his physical capabilities any longer and had to resort to uh, magic and absorbing OG73, who copied his abilities and more so he could be restored to his original potential and his original self. I mean, I think we covered pretty much everything at the moment. But anyways, if you guys like more videos like this, definitely don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.